the big game. Super Bowl 57, the championship of the National Football League. Thanks, everybody, for joining me for another edition right here on YouTube and Facebook of Picks with David. Boy, it sure seems like the season flew by, and here we are for the championship, the final game of the year here for the 2022-2023 season, and what a matchup it is. Let's go to Arizona. We're in Glendale. We've got one of the best matchups maybe ever in the Super Bowl. The AFC champions with a combined playoff and regular season record of 16-3, and the Kansas City Chiefs face off against the 16-3 Philadelphia Eagles. Everybody's been talking about this game, of course, for the last two weeks. But if for any of you that haven't been paying attention, and those of you that have, this video may be just right up your alley. The Kansas City Chiefs won the AFC and the Philadelphia Eagles won the NFC. Both teams were the number one seed in their conference and basically considered the best team in their conference all year long. Now, they've had a couple of roadblocks along the way, injuries, mishaps, turnovers, that cost them the games in which they did lose this year. You've got one of the highest powered offenses in the NFL in the Kansas City Chiefs going against one of the best defenses in the NFL in the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, the Eagles have a wonderful running game, and that's based upon the fact that they get a lead and then they just mash their opponent. Kansas City is a high fly act. They throw the ball a lot, and they also tend to run the ball to eat up the clock and win the game at the end. In this particular matchup, I love everything about both these teams. The Philadelphia Eagles are a team led by Jalen Hurts. He's in his third year as a quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles, and he's in his second full season under head coach Nick Sirianni and their offensive system. He's got a couple of great running backs in the backfield in Miles Sanders and Kenneth Gainwell. He's got a great tight end to throw to in Dallas Goddard, and he's got an array of wide receivers that include A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith. On offense, they're very solid, and they have probably the best offensive line in football. Defensively, this team attacked offenses from the defensive side of the ball in a way that hasn't been seen in years in the NFL. They led the league in sacks. They dominated the line of scrimmage. They gained a lot of takeaways, and with those takeaways, they scored a lot of points. For the Kansas City Chiefs, they are, of course, led by Patrick Mahomes, the two-time NFL MVP now, having just been crowned on Thursday night. He has, in his backfield, an array of running backs, led by the rookie Isaiah Pacheco. Coming off of injury is Clyde edwards helaire and they'll also see and utilize a lot of Jarek McKinnon. At the wide receiver spots, you've got Juju Smith-Schuster, you've got Marquez Valdez-Scantling, and Kadarius Toney, who was a midseason pickup. But the biggest target for Kansas City is Travis Kelsey, number 87. What's amazing about this game is he's actually playing against his brother. And a lot of you may have heard that story. They're calling this the Kelsey Bowl. Travis Kelsey plays for the Chiefs, and his big brother Jason Kelsey is the center who snaps the ball for the Philadelphia Eagles on offense. So, you know, his, the mom may be flipping the coin. We haven't heard yet whether that's going to be the case yet or not. But uh, the first two brothers to face off in the Super Bowl. And so that's really exciting for their family. Now, one of the big stories in this game is injuries. Both teams are a little bit hurt. 
Kansas City especially is coming off where they have Clyde Edwards-Alaire is coming back from a high ankle sprain, and at running back, that is a difficult injury to come back from. Patrick Mahomes has a, a high ankle sprain, but he was able to grit it out and play very well against the Cincinnati Bengals in the AFC Championship game. Juju Smith-Schuster has an ankle or has a, a knee injury, and Kadarius Tony has an ankle injury at wide receiver. And so you'll have to be watching these injuries throughout the game and see if they affect the gameplay. As for the Eagles, the biggest injury to talk about is Jalen Hurts' shoulder. His throwing shoulder has kept him out a couple of the regular season games, and while there have been time to rest it, he did not have to throw the ball much against the 49ers because they did not have their quarterback who got injured in that game in the NFC Championship. And before that, he didn't have to throw the ball very much against a weakened New York Giants team who didn't play their starters the last game of the season. But the Eagles needed to play well in that game, and they did, to win so that they were able to secure the number one seed in the NFC. So there's your injury report for the two teams. Now let's get down to the bare bones of the whole situation. Both of these teams are excellent. And as you see here in this picture I'm showing you, you've got Patrick Mahomes, you've got Chris Jones on the defensive line, Travis Kelsey. On the other side, you've got Jalen Hurts, Devontae Smith, and also A.J. Brown. In this game, I think the key to the entire game is going to be in the trenches. And while you don't see anybody for the Philadelphia Eagles in this picture, I will tell you that it's going to be about the defensive line trying to dominate against the offensive line of the Kansas City Chiefs. And vice versa, whereas the Chiefs defensive line is going to have to try and get some pressure against the Philadelphia Eagles and their best offensive line in the league. And so I really think that it's going to come down to that because I think both teams can score, both teams can run the football, both teams can pass it, the injuries may be a factor. And so for me, I look at this game and Obviously, I am a Kansas City Chiefs fan, so it's very difficult for me to pick against the Chiefs. At the beginning of the year, I thought that they definitely would take a little bit of a step back, and maybe they have. It's just that their competition didn't live up to all the offseason hype. I had the San Francisco 49ers against the Buffalo Bills in the Super Bowl, and I thought the Buffalo Bills would win it all. But between injuries to the quarterbacks for the 49ers, and inconsistency from the Buffalo Bills, that matchup didn't happen. So we got this great matchup right here. So let me tell you what I think is going to happen. I'm not a big believer in, uh, you know, hocus pocus and, uh, you know, uh, what I would call, uh, you know, jinxes. I don't believe in jinxes. But if there ever were some jinxes, Kansas City is in trouble. The Kansas City Chiefs uh, shirt jersey was put on Rocky Balboa in Philadelphia. That's a strike against the Chiefs. You've got somebody tattooed already on their arms and legs. Kansas City Chiefs going to win the Super Bowl 2023. That's, that's a jinx against them. You've got some trash talk from both sides. I think that that's a bit of a jinx, you know, and so I'm really concerned about how this game is going to turn out. But I watched a snippet of the season, highlights from all the games for the Philadelphia Eagles, highlights of all the games of the Kansas City Chiefs. And when I compared the two, and I looked at all of the different kinds of plays, the running plays, the passing plays, how they got their turnovers, the way things work. This is how I think the game is going to go. It's going to start out where the Kansas City Chiefs are probably going to win the toss and will defer to the second half. 
The Eagles will get the ball first, and because it's their first time as a team, really, being at the Super Bowl in this, you know, this form, I think they'll be a little nervous. I don't think that they will score on their opening drive, and they will punt. The Kansas City Chiefs, on the other hand, were just here two years ago, and the majority of this team has been to the Super Bowl. I think they go down and they get the lead and they score. May only be a field goal, but could be a touchdown. But I think that the cohesiveness of the Kansas City Chiefs, the coaching is going to matter. I think they have, you know, more seasoned coaches for the Kansas City Chiefs. I think that this will be a barn burner in the first half as both teams feel each other out. And I think that there will be big plays, both defensively for both teams. I think both teams will turn the ball over. I think in the end, it's all going to come down to who plays best, Patrick Mahomes or Jalen Hurts. The two-time MVP leads the Kansas City Chiefs to a victory in Super Bowl 57. So there you have it, my Super Bowl 57 prediction. I've got a few extra things here to say at the end. And I'd love to hear your prediction for the big game. Leave a comment and tell me what you two you think is going to win the game, what you think the final score will be, who the MVP is going to be. When they do the coin flip, heads or tails, I got tails. Once again, I got the Chiefs. They're going to win the toss, but they're going to defer to the second half. I like Patrick Mahomes to be the MVP of the Super Bowl, and I think the final score of the game will be 41-27. to The Kansas City Chiefs win Super Bowl 57 by 14 points. Thanks for joining me here for another edition of Picks with David right here on YouTube and Facebook. It's been a great season, and I look forward to coming to you again in the future. And until then, thanks again, and we'll see you next time right here.